This bill represents a textbook example of how not to deal with the economic challenges that our country faces. While previously approved by the House solely to address the needs of the unemployed in economically depressed areas at a cost of a little more than a billion dollars, the Senate has taken the good work of Chairman McDermott, delayed it, not responded promptly, and has now mushroomed the cost to $24 billion. Economists have advised us that every dollar we invest to help the unemployed spurs economic growth, GDP, by $1.61. Very effective, a real winner, what the House did originally. But the carpet giveaway that the Senate added to this bill, the so-called loss carryback provision, yields, according to the same economist, 19 cents for every dollar of revenue that we lose. A real loser. Today's bill allocates $2 billion to the winner and $10 billion to the loser. Understand that this bill now directs the Treasury to essentially write a check directly to corporations for more than $10 billion. Checks to corporations that have committed fraud. Checks to corporations that have no ability to create jobs because they have no employees and exist solely on paper as a fiction. It rewards some of the very corporate losers who have brought us to the brink of economic ruin. Fifteen seconds. Gentlemen if this is such a great idea, why don't we first apply it, carry back to workers who have lost their jobs and give them back some of the taxes that they paid when they had a job? That would certainly be more stimulative. As we move forward next month to extending benefits for next year, it will be much more costly. And we should use this lesson as an, as an indication that good policy to address jobs and the need of the unemployed should not be burdened with windfalls to those with good lobbyists.